Hello everyone. So in today's video, we'll be, we'll be using Power BI for web scraping purposes. So in Power BI, we'll be using the feature of Power Query to extract the data. So here we are taking a scenario which can be a very common scenario for our personal use case. So let's assume we it's uh, about seven o'clock and we are quite hungry. We have just come out from a swing exercise and then uh, we are looking for dinner options. And uh, after losing a lot more calories, we're just looking to have some pizza. So now let's assume uh, to have a pizza, we need to uh, order it from a deli platform. So now let's assume we are taking a platform which is quite famous, which is Talaba in Middle East. So now when we are thinking of ordering pizza in Talabad, uh, we'll be having multiple options and multiple restaurants and uh, we need to shortlist one of them and then select the pizza out of it. So there'll be different things which we'll be taking into consideration over here. So we start to thinking uh, of different questions uh, or different uh, elements in the order that we'll think. So we'll be seeing which restaurant it is what is the minimum bill amount that we need over there? What is the delivery fee they are charging for that restaurant? There might be some question like how much, in how much time will I get my delivery? What is the rating of the restaurant? What are the other cuisine options available? So if I want to order pizza, maybe if I can order pasta or maybe something else which is available in the restaurant. So what are the options over there? And uh, we'll be using Power BI to scrape uh, details in Salabat. And in this, uh, video, we'll be looking how to scrape uh, multiple pages. So in my earlier video, I had explained uh, how we, can we scrape any website using a Google Chrome add-on. So we'll be looking how to scrape using multiple pages. So let me quickly go to the Talabad website. So here we are on the website and uh, I've just picked a popular location, Karama and Dubai. So I'll just click, let's go. All right, so here I'm on the Talabad website and different options and restaurants. And if you notice, there are different filters which they have provided. So now uh, I'll be selecting uh, Pizza Fiesta because we have a mode of having pizza. So now if you notice, there are multiple restaurants with different discounts, uh, what is the delivery time, which is available. Uh, and they have mentioned different cuisines which they are offering. Uh, what's the delivery fee, with it, what's the minimum bill amount. So these are a few of the filters which we'll be taking or scraping the data from the website. And if you notice, there are like around five pages of restaurants. So now uh, what we want is we want this uh, data, let's say in Excel or somewhere, where you can filter, okay, if I want a delivery fee, which is free delivery. So how can I get the, how many restaurants are there? If I want a delivery within 30 minutes, then what are restaurants are there? So for this, we'll be using a Power BI platform. So here at the Power BI platform, let me first quickly take the link over here and let me come to Power BI platform. So here I'll be selecting get data option and here I have this option of web. So I'll just select web over here and I'll just put the URL over here. All right, so it took some time to just go through the website, seeing what the data is available. And it will, uh, Power BI will give us some suggestion that these are the sample data available from the website. And these are the options. If you want to select from those, you can, or else you can take some of them. So if you notice there are suggested tables. So if I click on suggested table number one, I see the data inside it. So I see the column one, which is the restaurant name, what is the minimum bill amount, what are the different options? Uh, what is the time in which it delivers? The delivery fee? Uh, what is the rating of it? What is other options and the features over there? So now this is one table which we can directly use it. There's another table which they have suggested is table two. I think this table only has uh, options of what is the delivery time and the minimum bill amount. So we'll ignore this. And the rest is text code, which is HTML code or the display text, which is there. So let's do one thing. Let's create our own table in our own manner. So I have this option of add table using examples. 
So when I click here, uh, usually there are some sites which are shown uh, on the screen so that I can just hover over it and can see what I really want here because uh, here I'll be creating my own table by giving some examples or suggestions to Power BI so that it can detect a pattern and automatically fill the rest of the data. There are sometimes where the website doesn't load over here. So in those cases, you can still create a column, but it won't be available. So it depends from site to site. So let's start with this one. So let me give this uh, one as restaurant. And let me select first. The first one is circle of trust, which is mentioned over here. I'll just mention circle of trust. I'll just click on enter. I'll just give uh, one more example to it. Keto and if you notice, I give the uh, I give Power BI two examples, uh, and then it has filled it over here. So I believe this not Power BI's Power Query inside this thing. So either way, so I'll just click over here. Now I want what all different categories or cuisines are available. Okay, so the first one has pizza, fast food, and Italian. And it's automatically filled in that pizza keto heavy and subject here. Now let me see how much time does it take, delivery time. Let me just quickly go over here. Within 44 minutes. And it has detected this thing within 30 minutes, within 30 minutes and so on. Let me take the delivery fee here. Delivery fee. So here it is saying seven. So the uh, these are basic options which it gives uh, to us while scraping the data, and we can give some examples over here. Now let's take the minimum amount. I think let me put minimum. 20. Yes. So if you notice here, we have restaurant, the cuisine, the delivery time, the delivery fee. And if you want, we can add three things. This is good. All right. So this one doesn't have anything. Let's just quickly check if yes, it doesn't have anything. All right. So here we have few options which are available and then we just click on okay. Here we have the suggested tables. So here is a table which we want the restaurant name, the using the delivery time, the delivery fee, minimum bill amount and rating. Now let's click on transform data. All right, here we have the data with all this thing. Now, what uh, second thing what we need is, we need this data for all the five pages. So we can get all the restaurants in one go. So for this, what we'll be doing is, we'll be uh, changing the page number. So if you notice, when we click over here in second page, it adds this part. So what we'll be doing, we'll take, we'll take this part, copy it and paste it over here. So what we'll do is first, we'll be going to advanced editor. So when we go into the editor options, we see some code which is written by Power uh, Query to take the data. So what we need to do is we need to add a section here, which is a page number. So we have it earlier. Here it is page two. So we want to keep it dynamic. So I'll just uh, remove that and I'll just concat it with a thing 
uh, let's I'm I'm just taking a text as PG number, which is I'm naming it as page number. So this will be dynamic, and we'll be in before the let we'll just give that option as page number as text, and we'll be putting it as equal to this one. So page number as text equal to this one. So this is a function which we have created. And the function name is table three, and the argument which will be passing into this function will be page number, which will be taken over here and changing every page. So we'll just click over done over here. So now we won't see any data. We'll see a page number option. So what do we need to give the page number? We can give one. It will take the first page number two. Then it will give the second page number. So now what we need to do is we need to take the data for all five pages. For that, we need to create a list where we have page numbers from one to five. So for this purpose, what I'll do, I'll just click simple enter data. Here, let me take as page number and here I'll put one, two, three, four, five. So I have this table over here. So now, uh, as is, if you notice, I have given page number as a text. So this is already a number, it has auto detected. So what I'll be doing is I'll be changing this to a text format. The selected column has an existing type conversion. So we'll be replacing the current type conversion and put it in text. So here we have the page number as text, here we have the invoke function. We just have to run the function with this argument. So what we'll be doing is we'll be going to this column called add column and invoke custom function. So here the function query will be selecting table three, which has a function query over here. And then the page number, the input argument will be the page number, which is which we have created over here. And we'll click on OK over here. So when we click OK, it has scraped the details and given us the details of all the five pages. And here is a table. So for first page, it has given a table which will hover over the columns. So now we'll just click here and we'll try to expand all the tables. So here, these are the columns which we need from this. And we click here on OK. And here we go. We have the complete data of all the five pages, of all the restaurants and the cuisines. We'll see which is charging the least delivery fee. So here we have three options. Here there are two restaurants which have three options. So another thing over here is uh, here we have taken a page number. In case, uh, let's assume we have instead of pizza, we want to order biryani or maybe let's say some other food. So now what we'll do in those cases, we have multiple URLs. So if we have multiple URLs, we can still do the same thing and repeat the same thing. So here we have just exchanging the page numbers. Now, if I want to change the URLs every time, I can just replace this everything to, let's say, uh, new URL. And then I can just put this thing over here. I can click on that. So now in this table, instead of, uh, instead of giving the number over here, I can give some URLs. So thank you, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe.